up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Dunrami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Today's video is about free-to-play target Goku versus Goku. Whoa. You a genius. I'm not a fan of the category, honestly. I think it's kind of stupid. Uh, but this was inevitable. With more and more categories pumping out every two days, three days, you're going to start to get to the point where you, you kind of have to, you know, accept some of these weirder ones. And I think target Goku is like the first step in the next slew of weird categories, in my personal opinion. But when you do look at it, it is accurate. It does justify the fact that you have a category for it. So basically everyone here has once or still does targeted Goku as an enemy. So uh, all of these units are also androids and artificial life forms. So it kind of works out pretty well here. I will be leading the team with the free to play, my favorite unit <laughs> in the entire game. The artificial life forms lead for free to play, which is the cell, first form cell. And since this is a completely free-to-play team, all the other units are free-to-play and rainbowed, except for this guy, but he's basically rainbowed because at any time if I want to, I can go farm out the gems and get him to rainbow status. But uh, this is the rainbow team. So this is 14 and 15, the newest addition to the free-to-play world. You get him from the story event. He is a target Goku sub lead. He lowers the enemy attack. He has a pretty nifty passive. He basically can foresee the enemy's attacks as long as Android 13 is attacking in the same turn. You get that condition once, Boom, he can scout the attacks the rest of the fight, according to this passive. And he also gains some pretty decent stats. And then he provides additional stats to teammates, as well as a reducing damage when Fusion Android 13 is present. So after about five turns, when the friend unit transforms into the Fusion Android 13, we will have him pair up with the Android 14 and 15 to gain that passive. Or if we don't want to wait, we could use the free-to-play <coughs> option that we have on the team, which is the Nightmare Grind that has come to an end, Tech Free to play Android 13 Fusion. So this guy got an easy A with the Epic 7 easy A. Causes supreme damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense. He also can basically use a super attack at 8 key. So key plus 4 and attack and defense plus 80% when key is 8 or more. Attack and defense plus 30% when there are 3 or more Android category allies on the team. Boom. Ton of Androids, so he's going to be at 110% attack and defense on his passive. Pretty decent. We've got the Hellfighter <laughs> 17, one of my favorite units as far as free to play goes from the World Tournament a couple World Tournaments ago for Global. This guy can lower enemies attack and also has a high chance to dodge and he provides additional stat support for both androids and artificial life forms and every single person here fits in both, which is excellent. The free to play <coughs> GT cell, uh, the underworld cell, he's a sealer, he's also a healer, he provides some key support and stat support for everybody and he gives us that heal 7% of the start of the turn. And then finally, the STR Android 13, if you get him from the gem shop, it is worth the investment because when he TURs, he becomes a reverse super battle road lead. Physical type, enemies, attack minus 40%. He's a permanent stacker, raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage to the enemy. And he can go up to 200% passive. That's not a joke, 200% passive. So with that and his stacking in a long fight like Legendary Goku event, he's going to be tremendous. Expect to see a video on that in the future. He also reduces damage by 40% uh, when keys eight or more. And then the rest of it is yada yada yada. All of it's contingent on having 14 and 15 on the team as well as fighting Goku. So, actually not just Goku. You also get that when you fight Vegeta and Trunks. Certain restrictions do apply. So that's the team. They're basically all rainbowed. I'm just going to call this a rainbow team because it really pretty much is. I got this guy at 79%. So I took the time to get him to 79%. Didn't want to waste more time trying to get him to rainbow status. I can totally do it whenever I want. So this is the team. We're going to be going into the transforming Goku Dokkan event. We're not going to be doing the Legendary Goku event. We're going to save that for another time. We're going to do the Transforming Goku Dokkan event just to have some fun with a target Goku team facing their target and winning, hopefully. Not hopefully. We will. So in a sense, you can kind of say that this is a Legendary Goku event, like a like a discount one, because we are going to be fighting Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, God, Blue. Yeah, we're fighting, we're fighting five stages, so it kind of works. And right off the bat, we don't have... Okay, well, what's good is that we have 14 and 15 and Android 13 all together on this second rotation, so that'll be nice. Here, however, we don't have um, either of them, so we'll actually, you know what, we'll take this time to show off the Fusion Android 13. I've never used him before on a free-to-play team. I was waiting for his EZA. Once his EZA dropped, I heard about the whole Android 13 thing on JP. Wanted to get him involved, so once I got him, I decided to actually use the guy. So we're going to start off with Tech Android 13. We're going to keep the support on the rotation. We're gonna have the, the lead fall out. I don't think we need him. This is mainly to showcase the free-to-play units. Wow. Uh, so he's dead. <laughs> After, oh no. Oh, nope, yep, he's dead, he's dead. 
So I didn't mention the build that I gave all these units. You can go back and check and pause the video if you're curious, but I can also tell you now for the Android 13, I gave him maximum additionals. The reason why I gave him maximum additionals is because his passive is so tremendous that with each stack, it is a substantial increase because since his passive is percentage based, every time you increase your attack and defense, the percentage scales up accordingly. That's just the property of a, of a percentage boost. So he is actually going to be very, very good in the Legendary Goku Bin. I have not tested him out yet, but I gave him maximum additional and then the rest into critical. There's no need to dodge because he reduces damage by 40%, and if you're stacking a lot, you're not going to really be in a situation where you have to dodge anyway. So, we'll have him go first. Let's test out Let's test out his ability to tank. He can reduce damage by 40%, so we're going to test that out against the type disadvantage. Also, we can now scout the enemy's attack thanks to 14 and 15. This is a very underrated ability, and I'm, I'm a huge fan of this. You don't see this too often. So far, the only units that I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that have this are Jace and the Super Vegito, the EZA, which we're going to be getting on Global in about a week. Other than those two, it's only this guy. Oh, and also Piccolo. I think Piccolo can also track Super Attack. So that is actually a very underrated skill. I hope more units get to have that. Not for free, though, with certain restrictions, which kind of forces you to use their, their perfectly synced counterpart. So we've nerfed this guy a couple of times now with both... Uh, actually, last turn it didn't count because he transformed. We nerfed him once, and we took that much damage. About 100... Was it 100k? 90k? Not too bad. No, 50k. I wasn't paying attention. Did about 50k. So now we healed back 7%. This team is so much fun. Oh my god, look at that. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He doesn't even need to use... Okay, so because we've got two supports out here, one for key and stats, one is just stats, he's ready. He's got a super ready to go. He's already got 10 key. He doesn't need any more to trigger a super. So this is actually pretty neat. I'm going to have... Maybe I should keep him on rotation instead. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and seal Goku with Cell. And then I will put the rest in this lineup. For the Android 13 EZA unit, I wasn't really sure. I still am not quite sure what the best build is for the guy. I think I ended up giving him a split between additionals and criticals, just because he has the potential to do massive damage. Uh, I don't think I wanted to waste any any potential on his dodging, because typically what I do is if a unit can cause supreme damage and really isn't much of a damage dealer, I'm going to focus on doing additionals, trying to engage the secondary effects of their super attacks while dodging. But for him, he's kind of built uh, to do damage, and in the free-to-play realm, there aren't too many units that can do a lot of damage, so that's why I gave this guy, yeah, I gave him 12 additional and 14 critical. No need to dodge. Obviously, dodging is nice, but more importantly, he needs to do damage. He's one of the stronger units on the team, as far as damage goes. We are going to keep Android 14 again in the first slot. I really want to see him tank these hits. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to have him tank a super, because that's at the end. We're going to have to have the summonable version tank that but I just want to showcase his ability to tank damage because that's he he is one of the he's one of my favorite new free-to-play units there's there's just something special about about this guy I mean I've always I don't know why I like him so much I really don't I don't understand why I like Android 13 I really really don't get it but these units that are dropping on Dokkan really <laughs> it's it just makes me reaffirm the fact that I just love this unit for some strange reason and it makes me feel confident about taking these units into the Legendary Goku event. And on the free-to-play side, the more units you have, the more options you have, the more fun you can have in the game. Free-to-play players are always struggling to get certain events done because you have to either wait for a unit to drop to get you know, their leader skill or you have to um, hope and pray that RNG is on your side. Obviously, still RNG is going to be there, but with these more and more powerful units, there's less of a need to wait for that one particular one. You have more versatility on your squads. So, this is going to be a fun run in the future for the Legendary Goku event. We're not even using... We don't even need the the AGL-113. The, the tech one and the STR one are doing just fine. Alright, so here we go. Here we go. We're going to tank this one. We're going to see how much damage we take. We're going to have Android 13 eat up this first super. And then we'll have the rest do their thing. Okay, so let's see how much damage we take here. 
40% damage reduction. I've been stacking a couple of times. 121k. See that? That is pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Granted, this is not the Legendary Goku event. I was thinking that for a split second. This is not the Legendary Goku event. This is a regular Dokkan event. But still, that is promising because you're going to be taking these guys into the Legendary Goku event, if you're, especially if you're a free-to-play player. And you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're fighting either the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku or maybe the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku. That's, generally speaking, in my experiences, it's the AGL Blue and the STR UI that get me killed. Mainly because I never get to the M UI. <laughs> but um, it's the Blue that really... Oh, there it is. There it is. You can have your $30 haircut. I have the Blanca transformation. Oh good, look at this guy. His attacks are guaranteed to hit. Guaranteed to hit. What else is there when facing Goku? Performs a critical hit when facing, oh my god. I don't, you know, I'm gonna save this for another video. This is not meant to showcase Android 13. But, damn do I want to. <laughs> that will be the next, uh, next time we do a target Goku showcase, it's gonna be for the Summonable side and we will see just how vicious he can be. I mean his leader skill is already doing wonders for us Look at that. Look at our attack. Our defense is a little meh, but it's the attack that counts He is definitely gonna be dead this turn There's <laughs> there's no doubt about it And we we stopped to even realize that cell he's got a 100% boost on his leader skill So this is actually one of the stronger free-to-play teams I might take this into the Android Super Battle Road. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. Free to play Android Super Battle Road just got a lot easier with this team. So, oh, there it is. Come, 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 come. I'm gonna make that a thing from now on. That that's that's my thing. For Android 13, come, 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 And here we go. Super Saiyan Blue. We'll just pretend this is the legendary Goku event, all right? All right, we're gonna have him tank another super attack. Look at look at his stats, guys. 200,000 attack, 120,000 defense, 40% damage reduction. He's about to eat this super attack. Please don't make me look bad, please. Come on, trucker hat, you got this, you got this, bro. All right, those two hits are no problem. One more. Oh, he gets a stack before he gets supered. This combo is so much fun. Because you can see what's coming. That's actually really, really nice. If you know what's coming, the Legendary Goku event gets like 30% easier. No, like 50% easier. Maybe even more. Maybe like 90% easier. The main reason why people die in the Legendary Goku event is because they take chances. And they don't know, he got an additional, and they don't know when he's going to be attacking. With this combo, you pretty much seal up that weakness. All right, here we go. Here we go. So double stack, so we must be at like 150, 160k defense. Super attack with four... <laughs> 66! 66 damage! Oh my god. You don't even need the AGL summonable one. This guy's amazing! And now 14 and 15 are doing work with their double nerfs. Oh, man. This team. Dude. That's a good team. That is a good team! Let's see how much the tech free-to-play version can take. Obviously, he'll be doing a lot better because we've nerfed him a couple of times. But he doesn't have much defense, so let's see how much he can do. One more nerf from Cell. Actually, wait, no, his his nerfing capabilities uh, kicks in during the Ultra Super, not the regular one. This one just heals us by 15%, which is fine. We've now gained 30% health, so thank you, Cell. <laughs> you are, this, is, this is why I love you. And he's dodging! This team is so good! This might be my new favorite free-to-play team. I think before my favorite one was the Artificial Lifeforms. He didn't even have a chance to super me. My favorite team before was Artificial Lifeforms. Now it's target Goku androids. It's honestly just androids, because they all fit under both. This is my new favorite free-to-play team. I just love... I love that combo. I was just talking about it maybe... four or five videos ago, how I thought that the Kale and Khalifa might be the best free-to-play duo in Dokkan. I still think that they are, but these guys, I think, are a close second. 
Now, this could be recency bias, so if you guys are triggered by that, sorry. Uh, but these guys just really cover each other so well. And he's not even rainbowed. You could probably... You would do just fine with only 55%. If you guys are struggling to get this unit, don't worry about rainbowing him. Just at least get one copy. Farm him out. Farm a super attack from the story quest. 14-8 hard. 14-8 hard. It is a very easy grind. Guaranteed drop. One per run. So get that super attack all the way up to 10. Dokkan awaken him from the story event. Guaranteed you're going to have a really, really good time with, the, with these two. They are awesome. I love... I love these two. Expect to see more videos with these guys in the future. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if you have actually tried this free-to-play team, or have you even tried this free-to-play Androids team on the Legendary Goku event, or maybe the Super Battle Road. Let me know your results in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future, and click that notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! <coughs> Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to don't lecture me with that $30 haircut responsibly.